Hello everybody, Andy Demi here from the London Trading Institute. So in today's video, I want to speak about the US dollar and in particular, a monthly signal that I've just spotted that could give us the direction, not only for the dollar, but for major FX pairs and also for crypto over the next few months. With the up and coming Fed meeting in March um, and the expected rate hikes happening in the US, we are at a really critical position right now, and we must be prepared in order to make the maximum amount of profit possible. So before we dive into the video, guys, and into the charts, I can show you exactly what I found. Do please hit the like button if you're enjoying the content that we're producing and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to join our community on Facebook, the Crypto and FX Traders Club. I'll also put a link in the comments below this video. Right, guys, let's get to it. Right, let's bring in our charts. So what I've got here is a US dollar index. And it's a US dollar index that I've actually created myself. Okay, so rather than using the traditional dollar index, which has a very large weighting, you know, with the euro, um, it's almost like you're looking at the inverse of the euro when you look at the actual dollar index. I've created my own here on TradingView. And what I'm looking at right now is, is the following. And because I'm looking at a monthly chart, I'm looking for the general direction of the US dollar so that I can identify, you know, whether we should generally be buying US dollars or whether we should be selling US dollars, okay? And the US dollar is gonna have an impact across the board. So whether you trade, you know, cable, GBP against the dollar or Aussie dollar, or whether you trade Bitcoin, you know, these, these are denominated against the dollar. So if the dollar is going up, well, that's gonna have an impact on the currency pairs or the cryptos that you're trading. So let's have a look at this signal, okay? And the signal is the following. If you have a look down here, I have the MACD. And this chart goes back all the way back to sort of 1997. So it's quite a big uh, amount of data that I've got. And in particular, if I just bring in my pen whilst that loads, um, should have loaded that before, but that's fine. It will load in two seconds. What I was looking at is the MACD indicator. And in particular, I wanted to see what it looks like when we have a cross above also when we're above the zero and um and that's what i did so if you have a look here this is the first signal that we've got all the way back you know in around 2000 where the us dollar had a really nice move higher and then um you can see it crossed back below here and then the market went down and then here we had another cross up and the market went up and then here, the market crossed down and then the market went all the way down here. Eventually, we had a proper cross above here. The market went up. And more recently, we had a cross down here. The market went down. And have a look here, guys. We've had a cross up. And look where we are right now. So it's still the very early stage. Now, if you can kind of look at these lines that are drawn in, you can see that, you know, these are the up, this is here as an up cross, an up cross, and this one here is an up cross. And we are currently within an up cross. Now, even if it kind of did the minimum, which was this one here, like what you can do is you can take this distance here and say, well, look, if it did the minimum of what it did last, and by the way, this one's a bit more bullish because we're actually above the zero line here. So when you're above the zero line, it's actually a more bullish signal. So, but at the minimum, you know, you'd be kind of looking at a move, you know, there. Okay, which, you know, coincidentally actually does bring you up to a very key level around here. If you can see here, look at the, the resistance and support that we have um you know around this this zone here yeah um so you know and obviously this is a monthly chart so it's not going to go up in a straight line but in general 
looking at this chart right now, we might expect that there's going to be some US dollar strength. Now, if you think of it like if you're trading Bitcoin against the USDT, which is obviously tracking the US dollar, well, if the dollar is going up, it is going to put some downward pressure on that pair. So in other words, Bitcoin could be affected negatively by the dollar going up. OK, obviously, if Bitcoin is strong, stronger than the dollar, even if the dollar is going up, Bitcoin can still go up. But just bear in mind, we're probably going to have this pressure coming from the US dollar if this signal does kind of match what we've done in the past, which has been a very, very good signal, as you can probably see. Now, let me show you the chart of GBP USD, what it could potentially mean. So let me just show you. Let me get rid of this. So I did some lines, I did some drawings before I got on. And what I'm finding quite interesting is, obviously, if you have the GBP against the dollar, so you have GBP and we have US dollar, okay. Now, even if sterling basically does nothing, so it doesn't strengthen, doesn't weaken, if this goes up, you know, this currency pair, this GBP against the dollar is gonna go down. So with that in mind, I'm like, OK, well, let's have a look. What is going on? So this is also a monthly chart. And if you have a look at this, this is an important line right here. Have a look at this resistance on and support happening on this line. And that one was quite close. And that one and that one. And look what's happened. We recently hit that. In fact, let me just show you. Let me zoom in. You can even see. We hit this line, we created this bearish engulfing candle formation, and the market has sold off. So what does this mean? Well, it basically means that as of right now, okay, as of right now, unless, you know, unless sterling really gets some strength coming in and overpowers the dollar, the likelihood is, is that it's probably not going, whoops, that's the wrong dot. Um, it's probably not going to break higher right now, okay? If the dollar is indeed going to carry strong, remember, March is important. We've got the Fed meeting. Everyone's expecting a rate hike. It's already, you know, kind of been said that 2022, uh, the Fed is looking to increase rates, not as fast as many people want, but it's still nonetheless looking to increase rates, which, you know, on its own should increase the value of the dollar. So from a fundamental point of view, that is, you know, that goes without saying that as the interest rates go up, the dollar should strengthen also. So with that upward pressure from the dollar, potentially from a fundamental and a technical point of view, where we've seen that MACD indicator fire long and we've seen the power of it on the monthly chart, well, this could be, I don't know what is going on with my dots today. Uh, with my with my lines, hold on. Let's uh, let's try this again. So we could get this little kiss, and then possibly, are we going to head down towards this bottom end of the channel again? I mean, it's possible. The other thing is, it could just be a short term move, right? So you know, we could, for example, if I just take this line, reject it. You can see there that's quite a really nice line as well. So maybe. You know, we could even, you know, I'm not going to get into the, the full details here, but I could even connect a market angle. Line, but for now, we'll just draw a simple one there. You could get actually a really nice move down to here, right? Which would basically bring us roughly to this sort of level there. Let's have a look at that. What level is that? About 122, one, yeah, about 125, 122, somewhere there, which, you know, it's a significant move. It's a significant move from 135. So I would say right now, that might be the play. It might So obviously, we're not going to just short on a higher time frame. We're going to need to go on the lower time frame, get a signal, look at the daily, look at the four hour, the hour to get a good signal. But that is a good currency pair where you might be looking, well, look, you know, I've got and move potentially from anywhere from where we are all the way down to here. Now, if we were to get a monthly close above this line, then I will change my stance. Okay, I will change my stance. But right now, 
for me, this looks like a good possible play towards the short side, especially with that dollar strength. So be careful, especially kind of keep an eye on the dollar and also keep an eye on Bitcoin, because if the dollar does really start to strengthen, it's going to affect every crypto, especially the cryptos that are denominated against the dollar. So anything trading against USDT will have been impacted. Okay, guys, I hope that helps everybody. Listen, please hit the like button if you enjoyed our content and hit the subscribe button and join our community. As I said, I'm going to post it in the comments um, and in the description. So that's all from me, guys. I hope that was a useful video. Have a great day. Good trading. Catch you again soon with another one. Take care. Bye-bye.